Hey fly fishers, you know that pesky little X number that you see on meter packages? That same pesky little X number that you see on spools of tippet? catch more fish, you need to know about the X number. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about it. Stay tuned. I want to start off by reminding you again that ultimately what I'm trying to lead you to is the ability to catch more fish by knowing about the X number. I need to lay some background, so stick with me. First of all, I'm going to start off by showing you a leader package. We're going to look at a couple important specs on it. Here it comes. You'll notice that on your right, you have the leader length. In this case, nine feet, and on the left is an X number. Leaders are tapered for a reason. Just like the fly line, when you present the fly, the fly line has to unfurl, lay out fairly straight. The leader needs to do exactly the same thing, so your fly doesn't end up encircled by coils of line or landing in a bird's nest. Won't fool many fish that way. Taper is important. Now let's talk about the profile of that leader. The fat end is tied to your fly line, and then over the first six and a half or seven feet, the tapered leader gets smaller and smaller and smaller until we get down to the last two or two and a half feet where the line is no longer tapered. That non-tapered part of the leader to which you're going to tie your fly is referred to as the tippet. Now you need to know about the diameter of the tippet to get a proper presentation of the fly to fool the fish. That leads us to the X number. The X number is an expression of the tippet's diameter. It doesn't tell you the strength. That depends on the material that the leader is made from and who makes it. All it tells you is the diameter and that's a critical number. Let's take the X number and try to relate it to a real-world measurement, something that we're all more familiar with. The common X numbers that you're going to see on leader packages range from 0X all the way to 8X. Let's start with 0X. It measures about 11 thousandths of an inch. Mm. What's 11 thousandths of an inch? Let's take it one more step and related to something that we all know about, which is the thickness of a dime. A dime measures about five hundredths of an inch in, in thickness. What that means is you need 19 or 20 dimes stacked one on top of the other to equal about an inch. Are you with me now? So with 11 thousandths of an inch, the diameter of a 0x tippet, that measures about one-fifth of the thickness of a dime. Now let's look at the measurement of these other diameters. You're going to see a pattern. And I'll show you how you can remember it. 1x is 10 thousandths of an inch. 2x, 9 thousandths of an inch. 3x, are you seeing the pattern here? 8 thousandths of an inch. 4x, you guessed it, 7 thousandths of an inch. Now let's skip all the way down to 8x. Can you guess what that is? If you guessed three thousandths of an inch. You are correct. Now, how can you possibly remember these numbers? 
Okay, I'm going to show you a little way to do that. Very simple math. I used to teach math at the secondary school level. And I'm telling you, this is easy. Third graders will get this. Okay. If you look at the whole number here and the whole number here, so I'm talking about 0 and 11, if we should add those together, what do we get? The sum is 11. I told you it'd be easy. 1 plus 10, we add those together, we get 11. All right, you're seeing it now. 4x, 7 thousandths of an inch, 4 and 7. The sum of the two whole numbers there is 11. All right, pattern C. I'm going to show you one other thing here. As the X number gets bigger, the diameter gets smaller. 8X is much smaller than 0X. 3 thousandths of an inch, that's just coincidentally about the average thickness of a strand of hair. Pretty thin. One fifth the thickness of a die about the diameter of a hair. Now I'm going to talk to you about which one is right for you when you're fishing, trying to fool those finicky fish. Choosing the right X number for your tippet to which you're going to tie your fly is important for two reasons. Two very important things you need to know about. Number one, it allows the leader full extension upon the cast so it doesn't land in a heap. That needs to be balanced with the fact that you need a good float or swimmability of the fly once the fly is on or in the water. So now it's time for our finale actually choosing the right X number. Let's say today you are going to fish a size 12 fly. The fly size is determined by the size of the hook that it's tied on. You're going to choose size 12, very common size. So to get the right X number, what you're going to do is take the hook size, number 12, and I'm going to divide that by 3. 3 is a constant. It doesn't change. It's never 4 or 5 or 6. Always 3. When I divide this, I get 4. 4x. Four so that tells me for good castability, good floatability of the fly, or swimability if it's a sinking fly, I want to choose a leader with a 4x tippet. Now, in selecting the, the X number, the proper diameter, it doesn't always come out even. I'll show you an example. Another very common hook size for flies is 16. 16 divided by 3 doesn't come out even, but I'm close. For 5X. Close enough. So, with that, now you're an expert. At your next party, dazzle your friends. Bring up X number. Yeah, good stuff. If you don't go to parties, you're just going fishing. It's gonna enable you to catch more fish. And that's right, better looking fish too. You can have fun while you do it. Have a fly fishing question? Go to GormanFlyFishing.com. At the bottom of each page on the website is my email address. Contact me via email to ask your question and I will answer it. Your question may be selected to be answered by a video I create. With your permission, I will reference you in the video by your full name and the city or town in which you live. It all started innocently enough. A cat boxing match between Squeaky and Tiny Cat. After a few blows were exchanged, something strange happened. There was something, something about Tiny's eyes. I think she may be possessed. I fear the worst. 
If I could just sell a few more books, I think I could raise enough money for an exorcism. Until then, I'm going to be sleeping with one eye open. Thank you for your help.